Think Road Safety Stage 5 of the Santos Tour Down Under, starting for the first time at Christie's Beach. The destination, though, a familiar one, the famous Wollonga Hill, the most iconic climb in the Santos Tour Down Under. As the flag came in to get racing started, a lot of the concern was about the wind and what impact that could have on the race, but it didn't take long for Casper Pedersen of Suldale Quickstep to open up a breakaway group. Pedersen, one of the teammates of pre-stage favourite Julian Alaphilippe, trying to put other teams onto the back foot. And there was a big reaction coming from the peloton. The speeds were extremely high. Pedersen was then joined by three other riders as one of the locals enjoyed the moment, he had some TV time while trying to keep up with the peloton. Into the first of the zip track intermediate sprints, this one in Wollonga at the base of the climb, Liam Walsh from ARA Australian National Team picking up the maximum points. It was then along the picturesque Aldinga Beach, beach cricket on pause as the bike race came through. This time at the zip track sprint at Snapper Point, it was Johan Jakobs, the Swiss rider from Movistar, collecting the maximum points. But they weren't sprinting for them. They were trying to defy the peloton. Heading back in towards McLaren Vale and the base of Wollonga Hill, Pedersen went solo and left his breakaway companions behind, who were then quickly swallowed up by the peloton. It was the men in pink of EF Education that were trying to make it quick to the bottom of the climb for Archie Ryan, the Irish climber. But the first time up, Pedersen was soon caught with Damien Hausen doing the pacemaking for the ARA Australian national team and setting it up for Luke Burns to secure the FX King of the Mountains classification. He collected maximum points in front of his nearest rival, Jardi Dele, and it's Burns now who can be beaten mathematically with one day to go, but it's highly unlikely. He has a stranglehold on the FX King of the Mountains classification. Through the finish line for the first time, 23 kilometres remaining, and it was the Jaco Olula team looking to put Simon Yates into a winning position. On the way down the other side, the peloton hit speeds of more than 90 k's per hour. The fight was then on for positions to the base of the climb. And it was UAE Team Emirates doing all they could to protect the ochre jersey of Del Toro, the young Mexican leading the race. It was then over to the local Chris Harper. He lit the speed at the base of the climb. The reaction coming from the young rider of DSM, it was Oscar Onley, who was the first to go across to Harper. The remnants of the peloton then came back together. Yates threw his hat in the ring for the stage victory, but the rest were able to respond to him. Alaphilippe went early, perhaps misjudging the finish line. The dual world champion was then followed by Oscar Onley, who climbed over the top of Alaphilippe, checked across the shoulder. It was Williams and Narvaez who were challenging, but it was Oscar collecting his first world to a win. Jubilation for Oscar Onley. What a win. Oscar, when you look at that front group, Simon Yates, a Grand Tour winner, Ala Philippe, a dual world champion, and you got the better of him. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible. I knew I was in good form coming here, and I really wanted to do something on these climbing stages, but yeah, against these guys, I wasn't really sure. And uh, yeah, I'm really grateful to everyone that's helped get this win. And the Oka jersey, race leader with one day to go? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's nice. I think uh, I'm going to have a lot of work to do tomorrow, but I have some really good teammates with me and uh, I'm sure they'll help me out. <laughs> the first person to come to was the Hurricane, Chris Hamilton. What did he say? Yeah, he just said uh, that he knew I could do it and uh, he's really been keeping me calm the last few days. It's been pretty stressful with these sprints and uh, yeah, him and the other guys really, really uh, invested in me to make sure I didn't lose any time when I was uh, up there on the GC. There's been some really big names. Alberto Contador, for example, his first ever win was a stage that went over. Wollonga, Richie, Port, you're following in some huge footsteps. Yeah, it's uh, quite an iconic climb, I think, and uh, to put my name on there is pretty special. Congratulations, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Well, it couldn't be tighter at the top of the general classification. Oscar Onley not quite in the Oka leader's jersey. He's equal first, but on account back, it's Steve Williams, who will wear the jersey heading into the final stage. And Jonathan Narvaez, along with Isaac Del Toro, they're within striking distance, just five seconds behind. The top four separated by five seconds with one stage remaining in the Santos Tour Down Under.